Hey, what's up? It's Chris, founder of Thingster.com, and in today's video, I want to welcome our new freelancer student, Catherine, from the UK. So, welcome, Catherine, to the uh, Python freelancer course uh, with Thingster. So, in today's today's uh, success tip is very simple, and I think many many coders in my community, at least in the Thingster community, struggle with this tip because they like. I would say most employees, they are just like um, they are just programmed in a way that they think they are never done with learning. They always have to, they never feel quite ready to apply their skills. They never feel confident that they have enough skills to actually uh, sell themselves and actually uh, do something with their skills. They always think they need quite some, uh, quite a bit uh, um, uh, more knowledge in order to start before they can start. And so it never, it never ends basically because there's this trap that the more you know, the more you think, um, you need to know before you can really like uh, converge to a level where you can actually do something with your knowledge. So you never feel quite ready. So um, if and the more you know, the more likely it is that you don't feel ready. Um, so it's like it's a big trap and there's only one way out. And, th and this is to immediately now with your current skill level, stop learning. Like stop learning just for the sake of learning. In my opinion, and this is co very controversial opinion, so I get I get a lot of like uh, a negative response as well when I am expressing this opinion. But of course, also a lot of um, uh, things does actually later. Uh, tell me that this was exactly what they needed. For example, Adam, when he started out, what is one of our su most successful freelancer students, he. Um, uh, he he was already like on a very high level. He already had a lot of knowledge. Has finished the. Uh, um, and uh, academia and so on and um but it, it didn't feel ready to actually um start making money on a fr on a freelancing platform and then i like to also told him this and really hi highlighted the importance to start earning some money start doing something practical or creating a practical project at least you don't need to earn money you can also create a practical project but don't just learn because in my opinion learning uh like there's no there's no purpose in learning by itself learning is just a just a tool. So if you if you if you if you acquire some knowledge, it's just theoretical power. It's not it's not actual power. So the actual power com comes. Knowledge is only power if you apply it. So knowledge is potential power, but not actual power. So you need to apply knowledge, and you can never reach uh, proficiency in many different uh, fields. It's just the way um, our world and the knowledge in our world works. There's too much for a single person to, uh, to understand and to master. So you, so therefore you can never, like it is, uh, you, it is a fight you cannot win. You cannot acquire um, enough mo uh, knowledge before you get started with anything. So anything. So what you need to do is you carve, you need to carve yourself out a very small niche, a very small field and and just just learn the stuff so that you can master this field and forget about everything else it's just uh, uh, in focus i mean you can you, of course you can read the news and do some stuff and learn some random facts but they will like uh they they wouldn't uh, push you further actually the only thing that accelerates your success in your career in your coding career as a freelancer is to actually uh, focus on a niche and a niche and start earning some money get this well rounded skill set of a practitioner and um and learn only this only the things you need to finish the current project at hand. So at any point in time, you should work on, on on one project and push this project to completion. And this can be a client project. So for example, a client can pay you to solve a project for them. And then it's just this project. You just do everything you can to push this project to completion. You forget about your hourly rate and how many hours you put into the project. You just uh, pour yourself in into this project, finish it and and on the way, like this is uh, also contraintuitive result of this approach of practice first approach is that you will learn more. You will learn faster because your brain is motivated. It, is, it has opened up its knowledge gap and it will just absorb all the information it needs to finish the project at hand. It is much better than just reading a book and um, uh, and but you just you don't know the purpose of reading the book. You just read the book because you happen to have the book uh, in front of you or so. Yeah. So you should always also with this freelancer course, the uh, Thingster freelancer course, um, you should just like th spend 30% of your time on the course and on the course material and 70% on Upwork, really doing the stuff, getting the gigs and, and working on the gigs, even if it is very dirty and if it uh, if you don't feel ready yet and everything. I mean, you can follow the course outlines and I will actually push you to the platform very early so that you see some results very early and you get this momentum go going on the freelancing platform. So, so. Uh, just like uh, just try to take the, take this hands on hands on approach and um, uh, choose a project, any project, and then just uh, 
push through until you finish this, this one project and then the next project will be much easier and the next project will be easier again and so on and this is how you can uh, get this exponential improvement like small marginal improvements stacked on top of each other knowledge compounds as Warren Buffett said and uh, and this uh, knowledge acquisition will be very practical one because you acquire just the skills you need to succeed in practice and then it's great to learn and read some books and do some courses and so but if you are motivated by a practical project in front of you but it's not just it doesn't make a lot of sense just to read this book about javascript read another book about python read another book about uh, new technologies like tensorflow read a book about, about machine learning and just i mean it, it makes sense to read of course if you read it's much much better than doing um nothing but it's even better to just work on a practical project just get this done and learn only what you need to finish this project it's the best way uh, to learn and based on hundreds of thousands even millions of students we have on Thinkster, this is what crystallized to be the most effective way to learn okay so i think it's a good freelancer success tip um thanks for uh, joining the course katherine and yeah see you in the course bye